My name is Rahul Ravi Pudi and I'm a partner at Panis Shea and Boyle. My name is Robert Glassman. I'm a lawyer here at Panis Shea and Boyle. Alex was 13 years old and in junior high school. And at the end of the school year, he was part of the band. And they had a pool party at the Vista Marietta High School pool. And it was a school event. And what ended up happening is that Alex was in the pool. There's surveillance cameras all around and it was all on video. The parents were all told that it was going to be a supervised event. And unfortunately, Alex was swimming in the pool and after a little bit he went under the water and Alex stayed under the water for two minutes until his classmates, not the lifeguards, but his classmates discovered him at the bottom of the pool and then the lifeguards finally jump in and when they do they clear the pool and they float Alex on his back for about seven minutes until the paramedics come. It wasn't until the paramedics arrived seven minutes later that they saw Alex in the pool lying lifeless on a backboard when they jumped in full uniform grabbed Alex immediately out of the pool and started CPR on him. But unfortunately by that time it was too late. Alex was without air for a total of nine minutes and there was nothing the paramedics could do to bring him back to life. So unfortunately, Alex is not here to describe what it was like to drown. So because of that, we hired DK Global to recreate what it's like for someone to be drowning. And through incredible animations developed by DK Global, we were able to show what actually is going on inside of your body while you are drowning. And when you watch it, it's very scary. It's very frightening. And it's very dramatic. And I think we really were able to convey the horror that Alex was experiencing at that moment because of these animations developed by DK Global. The animation presented all of the evidence in such a uh, concise fashion and in an irrefutable fashion that there is no expert no doctor, no lawyer, no anybody who could actually look at that video and say, that's not accurate, that's not true, that's not how it happened. And once you get past that point, then the next issue is the defense is really, really wrong and they know it and there's nothing they can do about it. The case was on the heels of starting trial when it ultimately settled for $11 million. In addition to the money, we were also able to require the school district to guarantee certain non-monetary terms as part of the settlement. And those included, one, writing an apology letter to the family, which they've done, where they acknowledge that they're at fault and they admit their mistake. Two, they have to provide CPR training to all of its faculty and they have to do that and provide proof to us within a year. And they also have to develop what's called an emergency action plan that they didn't have at the time of Alex's drowning. And they have to implement that within two years of the date of our settlement. 